See a cool image. Want the same vibe in mid-journey. But no idea where to start. In this video, I'll show you how to break down styles from two sources, mid-journey images themselves and anything else you find. Other AI generations, photos, screenshots, you name it. By the end, you'll know what to look for and what options you have to recreate that vision in mid-journey. So in this one, we're not going to obsess over the prompt text itself. We're going to focus on the technical side of style. Style codes, style reference images, and how to feed multiple examples to mid-journey so it understands the look you're going for. There's a few different scenarios we shall be taking a look at. When the image has a style code, or SREF. When it's a mid-journey image without a visible style code. When the image comes from completely outside mid-journey and you'd like to generate images in that style, or at least similar to it. And when you've got multiple examples of your style. Let's start with the simplest case of a mid-journey image with a style code. I'm using one of my own images to show you the clearest example of it, but we shall look at some of the more complex cases as well. Here we've got an image of a butterfly-like woman. The style is faded, intricate gold on a black background. I really like this kind of intricate and ornate style, so I chose this one as an example. All you need to do is open the image in mid-journey by clicking on it, and then you can see all of this part in there. We shall be concentrating on what is over here. This method works the best and simplest if you have the prompt as something very short. The more you have words in the prompt, and especially when the words are trying to impact the style, this option won't work as well. But if you have a really short prompt like Fairy Princess over here, it's only got the subject and nothing else, then you're good to go. You've got the parameters of the prompt just under the prompt itself, and you're looking for the SREF and the really long number. To use this style, you can simply enter your prompt in the prompt bar. We'll use the prompt Tree of Life. And remember, if you want to get the style in its most purest form, make sure your prompt is just the subject and there shouldn't be any words impacting the style, like colors, techniques or other descriptors. Make sure the personalization is off as well, because otherwise you would end up with a mixture of the style you're attempting to get and something else. It might not be a bad thing sometimes to get a mixture, but if you're looking for exactly some type of style, keep the parameters and prompt to a minimum. And here we go. Tree of life in the same style we had the fairy princess. The intricateness and the color scheme are usually what are transferred over with the style code. Now let's look at the top page images and see if there's something we can learn there. You have another set of kind of reference codes which are called the profile codes. These can be some people's personalization codes or mood board codes. Over here, you can see that someone has used four different profile codes. You could use the same ones, but to get closest to the code, you'd also need to add in some of the style words in the prompt. The red coat and beret influence only the dressing style. Watercolour and ink also could influence the outcome. Vintage also. So if we were to remove all style-related words, the prompt would become A joyful girl singing Christmas carols, holding a songbook, dressed in red coat and beret, street lanterns, light, snow and shop windows behind her. Let's see what we get if we remove all that, how close we get. And it would seem that we got quite close actually, even without the additional words. So in this case, the many profile codes did all the work and there was no need to even have the style words in the prompt. The style was already vintage watercolour ink without even specifying it. Let's try another one that doesn't have as many profile codes. Here's one a bit simpler. Many style altering words in the prompt. But if we remove those, we're left with Wet, snowy dog wearing Christmas lights sitting with a snowman. Let's see how that goes. As you can see, the prompt words held a really strong impact in this case. There are some similarities, 
but essentially, if you left out the style words, then you lost a part of the style. So you can't always trust that either the style code or the profile code bring you the exact style. So if we really wanted a style like this, what are the options? Well, let's try adding this as a style reference. There's a nice and simple button for it down here that just says style. And basically it takes this original image and transfers the style over to our prompt. As you can see, it looks pretty close to the original. Granted, the prompt was similar, so it is to be expected to have similar results. Let's do a tree of life as well, because ideally we'd like to use our own prompt and just have it in the style of the other image. And that does seem pretty close in style. The colours are similar, we've got a nice whimsical style going on here. But most importantly, we got it to transfer to our own prompt and we didn't have to use any codes to get the style to look like this. Now we're going to try the same with an image that comes from outside of Midjourney. I went to Leonardo AI and looked for an image that would catch my eye stylistically. I liked this one. It had like a duality to it. So you can either take a screenshot of it or save the image somewhere. Then you go over to Midjourney. There's this button in front of the prompt bar where you can either upload your saved file or drag it from wherever you have it. It's in the video layout first, so make sure you click on Style References and make sure the image appears in that section. You can also use multiple images here if you've got many examples of the style you wish to replicate. And you can also just do a Control V to paste your screenshot. But we did end up with a tree that's in the style of the image I liked. It's split in half, and one side is icy, the other side is fiery. And as the last option, let's take a look at when you're getting sick of linking an image or multiple images as the style reference. So this experiment is that I took one of my all-time favourite images that I generated way back during Midjourney's version 3. I just like the vibe of it, so I'd like to recreate it as well as I could. So what I did was add this image as a reference prompt and just prompted all kinds of different things, each time with the same image as style reference. So I ended up with a bunch of images that are golden and turquoise blue and very ornate. It's not exactly the same, but it's kind of got the feel to it. So ideally, you would select your favourite images or images that got quite close and use the mood board feature. You can add images from outside Midjourney as well to the mood board, but I chose to select images from my own gallery and basically just added everything to it. So now I've got a code, again basically, I generated this tree of life and also this eye with it. It's not exactly the same, but it's quite close to the feel of it. But that's the thing. This is not meant to replicate someone else's style exactly. There is always some variation to it, but you can get quite close stylistically. Mainly some key elements like the color scheme, lighting, the ornateness in my latest case. You don't always need to decode the perfect adjectives or reconstruct the original prompt. Most of the time, it's enough to reuse the technical style information, the style codes, the SREFs, and the images themselves as references. And you can create your own custom style codes as well. If you try this with your own favorite images, let me know how it goes in the comments and tell me what kind of styles you manage to capture. Thank you so much for watching and let's continue prompting.